Hey everyone, welcome back to Coding Stuff. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use speech to text Google API. And this was our to do list app using Firebase tutorial series app. So, yeah, uh, if you haven't watched that tutorial series, our uh, link is in the i button. Go check it out. So, I have decided to add this uh, feature speech to text in that app. So, what I have done here is uh, I have just added one vector set here that is mic. So for that, I just click on the drivable and new select vector set. Click on the clip part and search for mic and select this one. So I have already selected and I have picked in this color uh, gray. So if you want, you can pick uh, this color or otherwise you can select your color. Okay. And then I have just uh, constrained this. It's bottom to the bottom of edit text and top to the top of the edit text and this one to the corner okay and then i have selected background as white this is image button and i have give it id as speech mic button so let's write some code to implement this feature and yeah if you haven't followed me on instagram yet do so link is in the description box there are post uh, some stuff related to programming and android so first of all what we'll do uh, will create one image button so private image button we'll name it as speech button and then in on create view so we have using this feature in fragment so if you have activity it will be same so now we'll just find its id first so speech button equals to view dot find view by id uh, dot id dot speech mic button and then we'll add on click listener to it so speech button dot set on click listener new on click listener and in here first uh, we need to create one intent let's name it as an intent new intent and here we need to pass recognizer intent dot action recognize speech and then same color okay then we need to put some extra with this intent so intent put extra recognize the intent dot extra language model and then recognize the intent dot language model free form so this is the key and this one is the value this one is the value okay and then uh, we just need to put extra the prompt that we want to display it when the google assistant pop up so so the value will be, so the key will be recognize the intent dot extra prompt you can write anything here so we'll just write speak up and then we just need to start this for activity result so start activity for result and then we need to put this intent as a first parameter and then the second parameter will be let's uh, create one constant for that so private static final int uh, let's name it as a recognize code and we'll give it value as a one and here we'll pass that so recognize a code and that's it for speech button dot set on click listener so as we have called the activity for result here we need to implement that method as well so in here on activity results then we'll check for request code so if request code is equals to our recognizer code sorry, and result code is equals to result okay sorry press alt enter because i am using this in fragment so then what we need to do we need to create one array list of type string let's name it as a task text or anything that suits you then data dot get string array list extra and here we need to pass recognize the intent dot extra results and then same column then uh, we got our data now what we'll do we'll call our task edit and we'll just set this data to the edit text so 
task text dot get here we need to paste specify the index so zero and we'll convert it to string so to string and hopefully this will work okay so let me just delete this jetbrains annotation okay, and this will be happy so now i'll click on this run button and let's see so this might uh, not work on the emulator so try it on your real device so now i'll just uh, hit on this fab button and i'll click on this image button that's our mic and i'll speak for something so android development so as you can see uh, it it picks our speech so and it also converted into the text so now i'll click on this save so yeah it's working and now i'll select second one and i'll slide it to the left side and again i'll try with update java development so yeah this is working fine click on save okay so this feature is working fine and i hope you like the tutorial so do subscribe and thank you for watching.